All right, so homework 37, doing complex fractions without variables. Complex fractions just mean you have fractions within fractions. And what they want to get across is that fractions are really just division problems. So this problem could be written as 7 sixteenths divided by 5 fourteenths. That and that mean the exact same thing. Well, way back in the review, we did dividing fractions. When we divided fractions, we had to invert the second fraction and multiply. So we're going to take 7 sixteenths times the reciprocal 14 fifths. We also said, well, when we're multiplying fractions, we can reduce first so our numbers aren't so big. The 7 and the 5 don't reduce, but the 14 and the 6 I can divide by 2. 2 goes into 14 7 times, 2 goes into 16 8 times, and then we just multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. 7 times 7 is 49, 8 times 5 is 40. They're going to have you leave the improper fraction answer instead of changing it into a mixed number like the calculator would probably do. So that's all they really want you to recognize is that this means I'm going to divide my two fractions or whatever I happen to have. So on number two, same kind of thing. Here's where that bigger bar is. That's where my division would go. So I would have 7 6 divided by 4. Since I'm dividing, I have to invert that second fraction and multiply. So I'm going to make it 7 6 times. And what's the reciprocal of 4? This is 4 over 1, so the reciprocal would be 1 over 4 when I flip it upside down, exactly. That one I can't do any reducing on, I'm just going to multiply, so I'm going to get 7 over 24, exactly. And same thing on number 3, here's where my division would be, so I'm taking 6 sevenths divided by 3 fifths. So I would change my problem to 6 sevenths times 5 thirds. 6 sevenths times 5 thirds. I can do a little bit of reducing on that one. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. So that goes in there 2 and in there 1. And so on the top I'm going to get 10 over 7. 10 over 7. So 10 sevenths would be my answer in simplified form.